Good morning, everybody. This is the Spa Guy. This is my second channel daily blog, and this is actually my second day of doing it. <clears throat> I tried to adjust my holder that I had up in my dashboard. I watched it last night, and I could tell that it was vibrating a little more than it, than I wanted it to. So hopefully, this will help. Uh, <laughs> I have a I have a steep hill that I go up at my house. And obviously you saw that as soon as I went up my steep hill, guess what? It flipped the camera over. So I'm, I've got some, some work to do to make this little system work, not vibrate, but still give me the opportunity to talk to you. I want it to be the best quality that, that it can be. And I hope that it will be. And I feel good this morning. I had, uh, last night I told you that I was gonna probably go home and uh, take a little hour nap and then I was gonna go to the bridge. Well, that never happened. The bridge starts at uh, six o'clock and I'm supposed to be there at 5.30 to finish setting up or to begin in setting up. And I woke up, I think I got home about 3.30. I woke up probably about seven or 7.30 because I'm trying to recover from my surgery and get my body back into its normal routine. I'm even a little late getting up today. It's nine o'clock. I'm normally out at eight o'clock or at work at eight o'clock. And so I'm headed to work and I'm gonna go in and do some shipping. But today I'm gonna do something special. Uh, <clears throat> I can't do these things every day because I'll run out of stuff to do and plus it'll take a little time, but I'm gonna go um, something local here that I think you'll probably be interested in. And I'll try to make a little short vlog today about uh, somebody that was very famous that was from our town. I mentioned him yesterday, but I think I have uh, enough time today to run by and get some footage at a couple of different places and put together a nice little vlog today that will be interesting to you and uh so that's what today is going to consist of right now i'm headed to work i've got to go ship uh hot tub parts and um i am not always the shipper every day i have uh, uh kyle uh we all have nicknames that we use kyle is actually spotter man and i have uh uh, uh, Count Spocula, which is Buck. They're both service techs. I have the cover czar, which is David. David is actually in England right now with his family. And uh, he is a, or or was a Wesleyan past, a pastor. His middle name happens to be Wesley. Uh, and uh, uh, Wesley, is John Wesley was one of the founders, creators, if you will, of the Methodist movement and the Wesleyan movement, of course. And and um, uh, I was watching him today actually in his church in England and he was walking around doing a vlog, which I thought was very interesting. And it has to be very surreal and very cool to go to where your hero actually was and preached and built a church and he rode, uh, John Wesley rode, uh, two, David said today, 250,000 miles preaching on horseback. Can you imagine? Uh, that's uh, almost an insurmountable um, uh, thing in my mind. It's, that's, that's amazing. And I'm just proud that he was able to go and experience that and be in a place where his hero was and 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 I get it and uh, that makes sense to me and I would even love to go maybe one day I'll go to England I'll take you with me um, but today we're in Hendersonville Tennessee I'm driving to work and I'm gonna go into work get a few th quick things done and then we're gonna go uh, make a little quick block a little click quick vlog and I'm still slow I'm gonna get better people this is my second day I had surgery six days ago so I'm getting stronger my brain's getting better my brain's working better right now than it has in a in a week since I had the surgery so I feel pretty good 
Uh, I still think my camera's vibrating more than I want it to vibrate, and I apologize for that. Uh, I'll try to fix that some in post. But what I'm gonna do is uh, go get some of my work done there. And then we're gonna go make an interesting little vlog of a local famous person. And I'm gonna show you some of the stuff. Now I actually shot some big time footage, drone footage, all that kind of stuff on this actual subject. I haven't finished it. I've got some footage, but I hadn't finished the main footage that I wanted to get to kind of finish it. So at some point on my regular channel, Spa Guy, just plain Spa Guy, a spa space guy, my main channel, uh, I will eventually have that up, but that will be a lo much longer video, not a vlog type deal. It'll be more like me jumping the fence and getting in there and, and getting some footage that you would never see otherwise that kind of stuff so today we're just going to uh just going to skim the surface uh of this person i'll show you some things that are local right around here that pertain to this person and i think you'll find it interesting i find it interesting if you do find things interesting that i'm talking about please subscribe uh to my channel and and also down at the bottom give me some feedback tell me don't be negative remember if you're negative and, I, and I'm not saying don't you can't say hey I wish you would have got this or that what I don't want to see is a bunch of hey I don't like you I don't like this I don't like that look if you don't like me that's fine um, there's a lot of people <clears throat> people doing vlogs and sometimes we just don't match up personality wise i i get that but if you're just a negative person and you want to try to bring others down and that's your thing then we're, we're not going to mesh <clears throat> so i really don't care about you being uh watching my vlog every day and i like to be straightforward i'm straight up i'll tell you how things are and if you don't like it that's fine with me if you do like it then we'll probably get along just fine but i appreciate you watching and I got some work to do, and we're gonna go explore in just a little bit. So stay tuned, friends. Woo! All right, friends, you remember how I told you I was gonna go in and I was gonna do my shipping and get it done real quick and then get out and get that, uh, that special thing done for you? Well, it is four o'clock and I am exhausted, but I'm still gonna do what I said I was gonna do. So stay tuned. We're gonna go look at this thing. It's not far from where I'm at. I've got a couple of places that I'm gonna gonna put into it for you, but I want you to, to things that I want you to see. And look, I can't show you, I can't divulge every single thing that I have. Uh, and I know that I look like I'm completely crazy white right now, but that's the way my telephone seems to want to do. Um, but I can't, take I can't give you everything that I know all at once or I won't have anything to tell you in the future so but this is something that is very interesting uh, when I moved here I was excited that that this was here or this this person was here so I'm gonna show you a couple of places related to this person and we're not gonna delve real deep into it uh, because that's not what I do on this channel uh, this channel is more of just a daily kind of an overview and I'm trying to make this camera not shake so much So I hope I'm doing better with it, but it doesn't appear to be doing much better and I apologize um, But I will get better. I'm, I'm trying different kinds of mounts and that kind of stuff But we're gonna head to the man in black himself We're gonna head to Johnny Cash's house and I'm just leaving my shop and it's not very far now unfortunately johnny's house well for, it got bought by barry gibb believe it or not from the bgs and uh you want to talk about something that was surreal it's surreal to see johnny cash but you think of johnny cash as a country music singer and and i am a country music singer as well back in the day so that seems like that's pretty straight up, pretty straightforward. You know, you got Johnny Cash. He's a country music singer 
and naturally he would live around Nashville. If you want to talk about surreal, surreal is seeing Barry Gibb uh, around where you're <laughs> around your house. That's pretty surreal. I was a huge Bee Gees fan back in the 70s. I loved the, uh, I played drums. I play a little bit of everything, but back then I was learning to play the drums. So it was a lot of fun to play the drums to uh, the Bee Gees tracks because they had a lot of uh, songs where they had uh, open close hi hats like where they were opening the hat and that kind of stuff. And that's how you train your left foot to open the hi hat at odd times against the beat and that kind of stuff. So I spent a lot of time doing that and I'm actually caught by the train, uh, which is great. Now, that, that train, it must come through here 10,000 times a day. Um, but I listened to the BG, so it was very surreal for a BG to live here. And, but what ended up happening was uh, uh, Barry had somebody in there and they, were, they weren't really remodeling the house. What they were doing was some upkeep and they were trying to um, to more or less preserve the house. The house is, was made out of logs, part of it, kind of a log cabin type thing almost. And they were trying to preserve some things. And just, he was doing his due diligence as an owner of something that was very important. And the contractor that was spraying uh, it, it caught on fire and it burned the house down. Um, but the the property is still there now you got to keep in mind that Johnny and if you ever watched the the, the movie um, uh, uh, the Johnny Cash movie I, I can't even remember what it was called um, if you ever watched that movie this house is actually in the movie and they talk about him moving out here and uh, being on the on the water and it's actually right on Old Hickory Lake and that was a man-made lake in the 50s uh, so that lake wasn't actually there and right off of where Johnny's house is if you're out in the water side it's almost a, a sheer cliff right there and the uh, the big boats will go right by his house real close because they say it's 90 feet deep right there that's one of the deep spots and I've actually heard some stories a friend of mine said he was down there fishing by uh, Johnny's um, fishing uh, the house is up high the waters down here and there's steps down and stuff like that and he had a uh, um, uh, a dock down there and they happen and it's almost kind of in a little cove and they were happened to be down there in that cove and he said that the lady that plays uh, the medicine woman what is her name that had the twins walked out of the house and walked down there and had the twins and talked to them um, and for some reason, man, I'm, I'm struggling from this surgery. I can't think of uh, Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. I can't think of her real name, but she hung out there too. And uh, I can't believe this train is moving this. It's absolutely moving the slowest I believe I've ever seen it move. And I don't want to make this thing too long, so I'm going to stop until we get closer to the house, and I'll be right back. All right, so Jane Seymour was her name. <laughs> I had time to think about it. That was the longest, slowest train that I believe I have ever seen here at this intersection. Unfortunately, even in honor of Johnny Cash, it, it was a long train, but it was not a black train. It was not a long black train. So we are gonna head to Johnny's house right here. I'm gonna go, um, if it wasn't for me going to Johnny's house, I'd have probably turned around and gone the other way, but I can't get there unless I, the, I can't get there easily unless I cross these tracks right here where we're, where we're at right now. So we're gonna run across these tracks real quick. And then we're going to, first place, we're, I'm gonna to go to three places today that are related to Johnny and June. Um, you know, June of course lived here as well. Uh, June Carter Cash and John Carter Cash actually still lives here on some of this land. So one day we'll, we'll look into that. Um, I've actually flown the drone and all that kind of stuff over Johnny's house where it was. What I haven't done is jumped the fence and got down in there with with my regular cameras and and finished that. So at some point I will finish that uh, that little uh, mini documentary, if you will, of that that little area 
about Johnny Cash. I'd like to, I'd like to see it up close and personal myself. Um, but once I finish that mini documentary, uh, of course that is going to go on my regular, excuse me, my regular channel, the Spa Guy channel. This is the daily Spa Guy channel, which is usually going to be a little bit shorter videos. But today, uh, because I'm trying to show you something special, this one's going to be a little bit longer. So just stay with me. I'm going to try to tell you interesting things. Uh, one of the things that I'm really going to try to do, uh, and what I mean by that is I'm going to go out of my way. I'm, I'm not going to tell you things that I've not um, backed up, if you will. And what I mean by that is I'm going to ask um, information like if I tell you somebody lived in a certain place, I'm going to have some documentation from some people who would know. One person who would know is uh, Marty Stewart, and I know Marty. I don't know him well, but I do know him, and he lives right here. And Marty is a, um, he knows, basically, he's a, an, a country music encyclopedia. In fact, he collects country music things. And uh, so I'm going to try to get some things some little tidbits and things from Marty that I can t tell you about that I think will be interesting. And I, and of course we may, may even get to talk to Marty, who knows? Um, he knows everything about country music and he's lived around here almost all of his life. So he knows about the things, uh, that went on and, and Roy Orbison lived here. And, you know, uh, there are some things about Roy. I'm not going to tell it, tell it now, but, Roy lived here, and uh, and I'm talking down here where we're headed right now, but we won't talk about, I'm not gonna point at any of the things because I don't know, I don't wanna say that he lived at that place and that's wrong. So I'm gonna try to back up all my stuff. I absolutely know where we're going right now is Johnny Cash's house. So we're going to uh, to look at this little area and we'll talk about it, and we're gonna go to two more areas. We're gonna go to Johnny's office where his office was and then we're going to go to another little special place that's very close by and then I'll close this vlog out for today so we're about to make the turn and uh, the area that we're headed to right now is where Johnny built his dream home and back then you got to keep in mind this was out in the country so now I'm videoing Ford out of my vehicle. And this was, if you see this, this fence with the rocks, the rock type fence is all Johnny's land. And there, that house has a log cabin at it. And if you look right here, that was Johnny's mom and dad's house right there. And the land right here on the right, this is Johnny's house this is where his house was and I'm gonna stop right here you can still see the house was actually right in where the trees are if you look right in here you can still see that you actually may be able to see the fireplace I may be able to stop and look over um, but they're actually doing some work there uh, we're gonna stop right here and take a look and see what we can see But that was Johnny's mom and dad's house right over there. And you can see if you look down in here, you can see the swimming pool. There's the slide board. There's the, one of the original fireplaces sticking up. And of course, the, you remember I told you there's the lake. The uh, boathouse that I was telling you about is down there. And you can see that there used to be steps right down that wall right there that stuck out and that was the house that house is the one that is in the movie walk the line it finally came to me what the name of the movie was and there my friends is Johnny Cash's house and in the background is old Hickory Lake and there's still structures standing that were his this is like a garage structure we're on the back of it that's the roof 
and there's a structure on the far side over there. There's another driveway that's still standing that's kind of like a garage. But that was the house. We're gonna walk down here. This right here is the guard, the guard shack. When Johnny actually lived here before he passed, before him and June Carter passed, there was always people in this guard shack. Um, th this thing was manned, just like it says, 24 hours a day, uh, video monitoring. There's Johnny's mailbox right there. But you see it says 24 hour video monitoring and that was true. There was always somebody here. There was always a police car out here. And you can see that somebody's even broken a window or done something. I don't know what that's about. Why they would do that. I don't think you can see in there. You can't. But that guard shack has been there um, a long time. There's a something over the window. Maybe we can see something down in there. I don't know if we can see anything in there or not. But it's worth a look. But I'm going to climb up on the other part of the wall so you can see that's where a telephone hookup was. was old school right there. But this was Johnny's guard shack. This is real. This is his house. And uh, I'm going to stand up here so we can see a little better up there. And remember, I'm tr struggling from surgery, so I'm not doing great at climbing and stuff. But you can see there's the fireplace. Um, you can see the edge of the fireplace sticking up out there. There was a upstairs and a downstairs type deal. And there's the garage. You can see it there. And at some point I will make the trek over over the wall and get the rest of the videos that we need so we know what's going on back there and what it looked like. So there it is, friends. I'm going to head to the other spots. Stay tuned. All right, this right here is where Johnny would have driven out of. This is the road that he lives on uh, back behind me. This is what we call Gallatin Road, the road that's in front of me. And of course, you can see there's a lot of vehicles on Gallatin Road. Gallatin Road, some, some people will call Nashville Pike because if I turn left, if I turn to the right right here, I go to Gallatin. If I turn left and just stay straight and don't stop, I go all the way downtown Nashville. And this used to be the only way to get from here to Nashville. So Johnny would have to drive on this road to go to Nashville. Now they have uh, I-65 that splits off to 386, which is Vietnam Vets Parkway. This is what I wanted to show you. This, if you notice, this sign right here says the House of Cash across the top of it. You see that? And this was the House of Cash. This was Johnny Cash's... Uh, office this was a museum at one time this was the place that johnny he had an office upstairs and this right here friends was was johnny cash's place so you can see now that that says house cash right there this is 700 gallatin road it's owned by halo realty now and um inside that building, something that I could kick myself for. I'll tell you a little story. This is, I'll tell you a little tidbit. So, all right, so here's the house of cash right here. This was Johnny Cash's place. You went in that door, there's a staircase that goes up and Johnny's, I don't know which one of these windows was his office, but I know his office was upstairs and there's a staircase. And I could kick myself because I actually drove by, saw this and did not get it. There was a dumpster right over here where these vehicles are. And when they were remodeling this place, they took the banister from that staircase that was right there that headed up to Johnny Cash's office they threw it in a dumpster right over there. I saw it in the dumpster, stopped and looked at it, and did not put it in my truck and take it with me. 
So I missed an opportunity to have a really cool piece of music history. I could have put that in my uh, studio at my house or in somewhere, and I missed that opportunity. I remember the dumpster sitting right over there. But that's Johnny Cash's uh, office, and it also was the museum where they had the car. If you've ever heard the Cadillac song, where they took all the different year models of the Cadillacs and made one Cadillac, it was in that building right there. This is in Hendersonville, Tennessee. What's funny is right across the street, let's go look. What's funny is, is right across the street, I don't know if you can make it out, but there's a wall right there. Just look down that wall and you may not be able to say it, but on the wall it says, hello, darling. That was Conway Twitty's home and what we call Twitty City over there. This is now called Trinity Music City and we'll explore over there very soon. I'll take you over and we'll look at uh, Conway Twitty's house and the uh, things that are over there. But right now we'll talk about Johnny and June Carter. So stay tuned, friends. All right, friends, I'm trying something with my uh, camera to see if I can steady it a little bit more and give it a little bit more natural look. Here I am and the police <laughs> are here. What are the odds of that? Somebody got pulled and they pulled in here. So we're gonna go in here and look at the last thing that we're talking about today. And uh, this is the final resting place of June Carter and Johnny. And it is just a, probably two miles up the road from House of Cash where we were just at. And I'm gonna show you where they're buried at and what those graves look like. All right, so come walk with me. We're gonna go down in here and try to be respectful i don't want to walk on other people's graves as you can probably tell from my my not so great camera work i'm limping a little bit my right leg is not as strong as it normally would be i lost some strength in it from the from the surgery but it's getting stronger and there's actually quite a few famous people buried out here and I can't give you everything the first day, people, so, or the second day, so you have to stay tuned and let me tell you stuff a little along and just give you little tidbits here and there, but this right here is, is it. Out of respect to the Carter family, Carter Cash family, please use sidewalk and preserve the grounds. And there is John and June Carter Cash's graves right there. And there they are. That is them, friends. They even have a place. A little bench you can sit on. I hope you read that right there. This is their final resting place. And of course, it, it looks beautiful out here. It's not, it's well manicured, just beautiful. And I thought you'd like to see that. Cash Carter. But Johnny Cash and June Carter Cash are right here in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And right there. You can see Johnny says, Psalms 1914, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, Johnny Cash. June Carter says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Psalm, that's Psalms 103. Yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed today's blog. And I can't do one this involved tomorrow, probably, but from time to time, we're going to look at some things like this. There's a lot of it around. And if you want to learn about stuff and uh, enjoy a day with the spa guy, stay tuned, friends. Vlog over.